Amazon is a multinational technology company that specializes in e-commerce, cloud computing, streaming, and artificial intelligence. Since its founding as a small startup in a garage in Bellevue, Washington, Amazon has grown exponentially to become one of the world's most valuable brands. How did a small online bookstore become the biggest e-commerce company in the world? Keep watching to find out. Amazon was founded on July 5, 1994 by Jeff Bezos in his garage in Bellevue, Washington. However, the company was originally named Cadabra. A few months later, the name was changed to Amazon because a lawyer misheard its original name as Cadaver. Bezos settled on the name Amazon after looking through the dictionary because it referred to a place that was exotic and different. Exactly how he envisioned his internet business. He also noted that the Amazon River was the biggest river in the world and he planned to make his company the biggest bookstore in the world. After reading a report that projected high web commerce growth, Bezos compiled a list of 20 products that could be marketed online. He narrowed down the list of 5 products that he felt were the most promising. These included compact discs, computer hardware, computer software, videos, and books. He later decided on books exclusively because of the demand, the low cost, and the large number of titles available. Bezos' parents invested nearly $250,000 in the startup, and on July 16, 1995, Amazon opened as an online bookstore, selling a large collection of titles to anyone with internet access. In the first two months, Amazon sold to all 50 states and over 45 countries, Amazon sales were up to $20,000 per week. In May of 1997, the company went public on the Nasdaq, trading at $18 per share. The company began expanding their product catalog to include more than just books. By the early 2000s, the logo was updated to a curved arrow leading from A to Z signifying that the company carries every product from A to Z. Amazon did not expect a profit for four to five years, and this upset shareholders who thought the company was not reaching profitability fast enough to justify their investments. However, in 2001, the dot-com bubble burst, destroying many internet companies in the process, but Amazon survived. This pushed Amazon to become a leader in online sales. The company finally turned its first profit of one cent per share on revenues of more than $1 billion in the fourth quarter of 2001. Fast forward to 2011, Amazon had 30,000 full-time employees in the United States, and by 2016, that number grew to 180,000. Additionally, in 2017, Amazon announced it would acquire Whole Foods for a whopping $13.4 billion. That same year, Amazon announced plans to locate a second headquarters at a cost of $5 billion. Amazon continues to post record growth year over year, recording revenue of $386 billion for 2020, up 38% from 2019. Jeff Bezos proved that his unconventional business model could succeed and become profitable, even when many people doubted him and Amazon. This is another prime example of how a small startup defied all odds to become one of the most powerful companies in the world.